Hi everybody, it's Jen from Cake-tastic Cakes. I'm going to show you how to make the Muddy Pig from Minecraft Earth. It's one of the new mobs, so let's do this. Muddy Pig is going to be very similar to the original pig. I have old Minecraft videos that I, I made the pig in one of them, and you could check that one out if you want. But it's going to be pretty much the same thing. You're going to start with your thick piece of gum paste, your pink going to make a nice rectangle out of it, nice flat, try to round, or not round off, the square off the corner is pretty good. That's going to be the body. This small square I'm making right here, the same thickness as before, is going to be the head. I want to say it's probably about a half inch thick if I had to guess. I'm just using those paddles to um, make sure the edges stay sharper. I'm using some water to attach the head to the body. You saw I had it a little off-center there and put it aside. Okay, the brown is going to be the legs. Um, they're not pink at all. They're just covered in mud, hence the name. Mm -hmm. So roll it out, you know, maybe half the thickness of the body. Cut them out so that they are as wide, maybe as tall. And I'm using a lollipop. Oh, geez, no, I'm not. I'm using spaghetti, dried spaghetti, and pressing them into place. Just the rectangles, as you saw me cut out, made an impression for the um, separation of legs. Stick them on, let it dry. Okay. Now we're going to start with the actual mud. This is the same color brown as the legs, and I'm going to make a strip, a long rectangular strip, that's going to go around the entire bottom edge of the pig's body. You see what I'm doing there? Basically just trimming him out in brown. Um, you don't have to worry about putting it underneath his body unless people are going to flip it over and then you know come up to you and judge you about it. So I don't worry about that too much. But yeah, so it's the same color brown. Strip goes all around the edge of it. Try to keep it the same thickness. It's a little tough if your edges aren't as sharp, which mine weren't because I just made the pink and it was very soft and squishy. So yeah, it gave me a little bit of a hard time. The same idea now with the bottom of the head, the bottom half or the bottom edge of the head, edge it out in brown just like you did with the body. Okay, and there we go. Now, using the same color brown and also two different shades. I'm going to use a lighter shade than the legs and a darker shade. I just mixed it with black to make it darker. The lighter shade, I just mixed it with some white. And I'm cutting out rectangles and squares and starting to stick them to the sides of the body and then the legs also. Cut different sizes, um, different lengths, and just stick them all over the place. You're going to want it to go around the edge where you put the brown, down onto the brown, and then a little bit using small pieces, little small squares and small rectangles, up into maybe to the middle of the pig's body, his head and face. You can see in the corner what I am talking about up there, the little pieces that come up a little higher, just to make it look like the mud was kind of splattered around a little bit and... Yeah, just make sure it's squares and so it looks Minecrafty, and that is an adjective now. So yeah, you can see I added some of the dark colors uh, right there. Again, you know, I'm putting like two or three pieces of each shade on there. I'm jumping around because you don't need me <laughs> to show you every single little piece I put on. But you can see the idea there. So that's what we're going for, just a muddy, splattered kind of a look. If you think you need more, add more. If you need less, don't put it on there. You know, there's no right or wrong. Just make him look, you know, muddy, splattered, splashed on. You can see I did it on the front of his legs, the side of his legs, his face, on his cheeks. And once you get to that point that you're happy with it, then stop. Okay, this part is pretty important. I'm going to make the mud splat that's on top of his head. It's off to the one side, it's onto the left side of his head, and it comes on top of his head and then as you can see it folds over and kind of runs down like the mud is running down the side of his head and it doesn't have any specific shape just you know make it jaggedy and edged to look like minecraft i'm adding some more of the little pieces again to this area too to make it look a little splattery i added the different colors as you can see there's the dark color there's some of the light that's hard to tell but it is there so you just have to trust my word on it and now we're going to add a little square of brown that's thicker than the stuff you've been rolling out thin and sticking on for mud splatters. This is where the flower is going to sit. I guess the idea is he was rooting around and came up with a flower on his head. So it's a little thicker pile of brown. And then I jump to the eyes, which are just two squares of white. 
and two squares of black. Make sure the black goes on the outside. So he's got eyes. Putting on a pink snout. It's just a piece of pink, the same pink as his body. Roll it out. No, not too. It's about the same thickness as your little mud pile on his head. And make a rectangle. Stick it on. The green is going to be for the flower. Um, there is a long, thin piece. I guess it's the flower's leaves coming out. A small square on top for the stem. And then the red of the tulip. I'm assuming this is a tulip. I think it was the tulip. Um, to make the tulip, it was actually a lot easier than I thought it would be. Make your red square. Make it a good thickness. Turn your blade over and just press down and make a cross out of it. And then you have the four raised corners like the tulip does in the, in the video game. So yeah, really nice and easy there. Make sure when you press it down, it is going to squish out to the sides a little bit. So you might have to, you know, tuck in the sides or trim them if it got a little too not square shaped. And then very carefully balance it on top of that little green stem you put on there. Is a slightly darker pink color. Um, I just added a little bit of red to the pink I was using and mixed it in just to cover up his back. You don't have to do this. I did it just because I felt like his back was missing something and I wanted to add it to it. And then two of that same lightly, you know, slightly darker pink for his nostrils, two little rectangles. And you have your brand new muddy pig from Minecraft Earth that no one else has because you guys are so cool and on top of things. So anyway, hopefully you like the video. Please like and subscribe. If you do make anything, send it to me. I'd love to see it. And as always, thank you for watching Cake Tastic Cakes.